This message is for Aquarius for April 2022. My name is Danielle. This is Danielle Mentaro. Tarot is a story. You're the main character. The decisions you make in life are up to you. But if you want to read the cards yourself, you can check out my book, Towerverse, Fun Rhymes to Learn Tarot. There is a link in the description box below. So let's get to it for Aquarius. Uh, your overall situation, you have the Seven of Cups reverse, so you're really focused on something. What are you focused on? The Three of Wands reversed. You're done waiting around for something to come help you out. You have some, I think it's a person. It's a relationship situation. You were really focused on this one person and you're like, and they're not, giving back to you or they're not committing to you. So you're like, you know what? I'm going to go date other people. Yep. Recent past eight of cups reversed. So you, this situation has been back and forth for a while. And in the recent past, you made one more effort. You're like, I really want to be with this person, but now it didn't work again. They're still kind of giving you the runaround. And you know this, and this person has been the same way. The definition of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. And you were guilty of that in the recent past. And you're like, you know what? Forget this. Like, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm going to date other people. Um, above you, King of Wands. Below you, Seven of Pentacles. So you feel as though you're also in your prime. Like, and I think part of this like change is that you have some newfound confidence like you've been working out and like now you're in really good shape and you're you feel as though you're you are being like wasted like like not just your looks but just everything about you like you have a lot to offer someone and this person doesn't appreciate it and you're feeling confident about that which is why you're finally ready to shut this down and start meeting other people and other people, and I think there there is a little bit of external influence in the sense that, you know, people have been asking you like, oh, so are you guys official? Or, you know, is so-and-so coming to the party with you? Is And I feel as though every time someone says something like that, it's like another little dagger. And that also helps prompt this change, prompt this like, you're done. And then, and then... I feel like it's as though as soon as you tell this person that like you're done, like you feel good about it for all of like five seconds. And then there's this immediate like, oh my God, what have I done? I don't know if you're going to act on that though, but there is like this initial um, panic. Panic sets in, at least for a moment. Now, I don't know if you... You don't go back. Panic sex in, but I, I don't think you go back. But what happens is now the questions change from is so-and-so coming to, oh, are you, you're not seeing so-and-so anymore? People are nosy. You got a lot of nosy people in your life, Aquarius. But you know what? You're kind of, Aquarius is known to like kind of keep to themselves or whatever. So maybe people are just used to having to ask questions to know what's up. You are going to be more open about this situation to hold yourself accountable. So you're going to start telling people, yes, no, I'm not seeing that person anymore. I am open to dating other people. And you're doing that to hold yourself accountable because you don't want to go back into panic mode and try and go back to that other person because you do have confidence now. Like, not that you were insecure before, but this is a new level of confidence where you are really ready and able to move on. At more, like, more emperor, like, king of wands, emperor, a lot of Aries, a lot of fire. Like, a, you are ready to hit the ground running and almost like to the point of where you're almost cocky like I'm gonna be a player like I'm gonna I'm gonna go on all these dates I'm gonna get I'm gonna date this one this one almost cocky energy not quite though <clears throat> two of swords reversed I think when things don't start happening for you immediately 
like you have this energy like oh i'm gonna date all these people blah, blah, blah. but at the end of the day you really do just want to be with one person and when you don't find that immediately there's going to be you know you're going to start to fall back into that panic not completely but a little bit and you might even like drunk dial drunk text this person but i don't think it like ends in anything like it's something really like that you're just like hi or whatever and they don't message you back so it's not a big deal also the like dating other new people it's bringing on this whole new set of stressors that you like you had stressors with this other person but you were used to those so it's kind of like the evil you know and like this is probably part of what kept you from moving on in the first place and now that you finally have there's kind of like this whole new set of stressors and you're feeling really guarded you're feeling guarded because it didn't work out the last person like you don't necessarily want to commit to someone like you wish you could just find a lot of confusion i have a lot of confusing energy right now king of cups at the end of the day i really do feel as though you want to offer your complete commitment and love to someone and there might be someone by the end of the month that you feel i don't think you're going to offer it to them right away but you feel as though there's potential there for that Oop. and then you do and then you do you kind of like meet someone and then it's like oh what are you doing tomorrow you want to hang out tomorrow and then you want to hang out the next day and i feel like you have to be careful because you might just like tumble right back into another toxic situation i mean maybe not this could be the one but I think things start to move really fast towards the end of the month. I don't even want to. The Ten of Swords. I think you really have to be careful at the end of the month because something's going to start to move really quick with someone. And if you go into it too quickly, it could backfire because I'm not sure if you're quite completely over the last person yet like this whole dating process is like part of your healing process and you might be a little vulnerable to just committing to someone too soon sort of thing i don't know if it's going to be like a disaster at the end of the month but you're going to be expecting more and it's really only going to be like a short-lived thing it's going to be like a quick kind of whirlwind romance but maybe that's good that might be like how is this whirlwind romance going to, going to affect Aquarius? The moon. All right, it's, you're still gonna be confused. I think it's gonna to add to the confusion. Uh, it's gonna to add to the confusion. But I think that's where we leave it at month's end. At the end of April 22, you do meet somebody new, so that's the good news. You are working towards getting over this person. You have this whirlwind romance, but it's going to leave you in a state of confusion because maybe there's not quite that level of commitment there yet either or you don't know if this person is really the one that you should have committed to just yet like maybe you should have continued to date a little more but we'll see what happens in may all right see you later aquarius